Hey, my name's Jim. I'm with CGC Sports Illustrated. I have had eight straight unboxing videos without getting a 9.8. Zero 9.8s in eight straight unboxing videos. I am bound and determined. <laughs> Actually, I'm not because this is going to be, it's going to be tough for me to break this stretch. Um, I got a box here from CGC. I got five slabs. We're going to rock and roll with an unboxing video. Um, I, I'm, I'm normally a very optimistic guy, but I know what the issues are in this box. I don't know what the grades are, but I know what the issues are. And um, it's going to be tough for me to break that streak with this box. So I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm hopeful, but uh, also realistic that this could be nine straight unboxing videos uh, without a 9.8. So as I go through this, um, something to keep in mind, I I'm going to really recommend that you, uh, if you like these videos, that you join the, the, the Facebook group that we've got. It's called CGC Sports Illustrated. Just go to Facebook groups and search CGC Sports Illustrated. It's got a couple hundred members in there. Um, and what's kind of started and what's been fun lately is that we've done some kind of, you know, graded magazine collector's round tables for a lack of a better term where just a bunch of us you know get on a zoom call and uh and just talk about these things and show off our slabs and ask questions and all that sort of stuff but, but there's a ton of other great stuff happening on the facebook page as well so um i'd recommend you kind of go to go to facebook um and uh and join the facebook group again it's cgc sports illustrated i want to make sure these are facing the right direction here Oh, and a rubber band that does not want to come off. Okay, there we go. So, eight straight videos without a 9.8. We're going to find out right now if it's going to be nine or if that streak's going to get broken. Got five issues here. Here's the problem. Um, I, got, I got some moderns, but there are two issues from the 70s. Um, and then a couple from the 90s. Uh, it's... One from the 90s, one from the 80s, and then one more modern than that. So, man, I don't care who you are. It's tough to pop 9.8s from those eras. But we are positive attitude and going forward and rocking and rolling. And here we go. Okay. Um, didn't break it, but um, this is a good one. So, this is um, this is just a cool cover, I thought. So, this is not Isaiah Thomas. Uh, Isaiah Thomas's first Sports Illustrated cover. It is his first pro cover. They did not give me the labeling on that that I asked for it. So this is um, from May 18th, 1987. Um, just a cool cover, I thought. Mr. Clutch. I, I, I was living in the suburbs of Detroit when the Pistons won those back-to-back -back championships with the bad boys. Um, and they were just uh, a ton of fun to watch. And I just enjoyed them so much, uh, even as a Bulls fan. I had some, you know, who the I hate the Pistons, but I, I, I couldn't help but at least have some respect for how they were winning and just beating the crap out of people. So this is pretty fun. Mr. Clutch, Isaiah Thomas. This is from May 18th, 1987. 8.5, not spectacular, um, but an old issue. And, uh, and we are off and running on this. Okay, next up. It's one of those 70s issues. Yeah, th this, is, this is a really tough issue to get in a high grade. This is... Maria uh, Joa, who is a Brazilian model. This is the swimsuit issue from January 16th, 1978. Pop reports, there's one 8.5. Kind of surprised I didn't beat that, but I do have a corner crunch on the bottom there that I couldn't get out and pressing completely. Some of the color broke down there. Um, she was a Br Brazilian model. What I found most interesting about this issue, her daughter is Jordana Brewster who played Mia in the Fast and Furious movies. Um, and, and that actress has done a bunch of other stuff too, but that's probably what she's best known for. So I thought this was an interesting um, cover. Again, this is Maria Joa. This is um, the 1978 swimsuit issue. You can see it right there, 8.0. There's one 8.5. There's now six 8.0s. And, um, and then there's a 6.0 and a couple others out there. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Got three slabs left. Looking to pop a 9.8 if we can. Oh, 
that's awesome. This is, a, this is such a great issue. Oh, I love this. Did not get my labeling on it, but very rare. In fact, this may be, there's, there's only a handful of issues that I could find, like maybe two or three that they, Sports Illustrated printed in portrait mode um, as opposed to, or in uh, uh, landscape mode as opposed to portrait mode. And this is one of them. This is actually John Smoltz's first cover. Can't believe I didn't get my labeling on that. Um, but it's John Smoltz's first cover. This is from October 26, 1992. I am very happy with this 9.0. There is a 9.4. Um, and this is just a fun issue, in my opinion. I like it because it's in, you know, it's, 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 it's done in landscape. Um, uh, and I, I love that Braves team. It was a fun team back in 1992, even though they didn't win the World Series that year. Um, Smoltz is a Hall of Famer. He's amazing. Cy Young, World Series champ, put in the Hall of Fame in 2015. Only pitcher, because you got to remember, Smoltz started out as a starter and then had a very strong end of his career as a reliever. Only player in Major League Baseball history with 200 wins and 150 saves. John Smoltz. Had no idea. Fun cover. 9.0. Not a 9.8. But uh, a, a really nice one, and uh, and one I'm really happy. Uh, I'm really happy with. Okay. Tell this is a vintage issue. This is an old. This is one of those ones from the 70s. Be amazing if this is the one that breaks the 9.8 streak. Oh. Man, I thought this issue was better than that, but I can see the flaws in it right now. Very cool issue nonetheless. This is Lynn Swan's first cover. So this is from January 26th, 1976. There is a 9.0. There are now three 8.0s. Um, this photo was taken from Super Bowl X. Steelers beat the Cowboys 21-17. Um, they became the third team ever to win back-to-back -back, uh, Super Bowls. Lynn Swan was the MVP. He was the first ever wide receiver to win the MVP. So I, I, that's why I think that this, this cover, pretty significant. A lot of great stories. First Lynn Swan cover. Photo taken at the Super Bowl. Steelers won 21-17. Lynn Swan was the MVP and the first ever wide receiver to win the MVP in the Super Bowl. So very cool cover there from 1976. 8.0. It's a fair grade, I think. I see the flaws on it. Um, I think I was hoping for better. Um, but that's a really good one. All right, this is my best. This, this is my best shot. This is my best shot to break the streak, to break the 9.8 drought that I'm stuck in. Hey, we did it! <laughs> All right. Whew. I was getting nervous. I was sweating. I feel. I thought like I lost my touch there for a minute. Um, now, this issue's not even a year old. Not even barely six months old. But still, uh, nine point eights are always tough. And I, I get a lot of people that'll message me and be like, "Hey, I, you know, I just bought this issue." Somebody uh, uh, messaged me. I, uh, uh, Coach uh, Mike Shashevsky was on Sports Illustrated cover a couple months ago, and they were like, "Hey, I bought like five of these off of the uh, you know Barnes and Noble or whatever." Um, and uh, uh, and they're minty and they're great and I'm gonna send them in. I can't wait to get 9.8s. And I was like, okay, good, you know, good luck, all that sort of stuff. I tried to caution the person a little bit. I was like, you know, just because you bought them right from the newsstand doesn't mean they're perfect. These things get beat up in the printing process. They get beat up in the distribution process. People, you know, grab the magazine and read through it at the newsstand and then put it back. When I'm buying new issues from the newsstand, um, like this one. I always go, uh, usually I buy one out of every 10 issues I look at at the newsstand. So if I'm at Barnes and Noble and they got a couple of stacks and they got maybe 20 issues of the latest Sports Illustrated and I like it and I want to get it graded, out of those 20 issues, I usually pick up maybe two because all the rest of them have already been damaged and I know are already not going to come back at a 9.8. So my the lesson here is just because you're buying it from Barnes and Noble and it's a brand new issue and you're getting it off the newsstand, no way is that anywhere close to a 9.8 guarantee. Now, back to this one. This is such a great issue um, and one of the best Sports Illustrated covers to come out in the last, shoot, four, five, six years probably. 
Not only is this Luka Doncic and his first Sports Illustrated cover, it's also Trey Young and his first Sports Illustrated cover. November 2021 is when this one came out. Um, Pop Reports, are you ready for this? 63 9.8s, now 64. 64 9.8s. Um, you know, the graded magazine hobby's gotten popular, and, and this issue came out when this mag, you know, this hobby was really kind of taken off, and so everybody wanted to run out and get this one, and there have been a ton of them graded. There's some 9.6s, there's some others graded out there, but yeah, there are now, now 64 uh, 9.8s. I, I, I don't care about the pop reports on this one. It's a great cover. You've got Luka Doncic. Luka's my guy. He's my favorite player in the NBA right now. I had a chance to see him uh, play live when I was in Dallas a few years ago. Trey Young, such an awesome young player for the Hawks. Um, it's just such a great, great looking cover. And again, difficult to get in a high grade. Full color on the back. A lot of dark, kind of that dark golden brown ink on the front here and all along the spine and that sort of stuff. So by no means is, you know, getting one of these off the newsstand, guarantee you a 9.8, not even close. The labeling has been done before. Um, so it says first first Luka Doncic and first Trey Young cover. So this is a great one. Whew, I am uh, I am glad the streak is broken. How fun that Luka broke the streak for us. So it was, uh, it was eight boxes without a 9.8, but not nine boxes. Uh, so great way to finish. Uh, on that 9.8. I was sweating it out there toward the end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe here on YouTube. Um, follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook groups, Instagram, TikTok, eBay. It's all the same username everywhere. CGC Sports Illustrated and really appreciate you watching today. Thanks.